Hey beauty chameleons, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to all of the new ones out there and all of my loyal existing beauty chameleon people out there. Well, today's tutorial is gonna be a Valentine's Day look. Um, and this look was chosen by a few of you that visit my blog and my Facebook page. And yes, I do have a blog. If you don't know, I have a blog, but I would love for you guys to go to the information box below. And there it will show you my blog link, which is beautychameleon.com and my Facebook page, which is facebook.com. And there I posted some pictures of me playing with the um, Raven Beauty um, products I received back in January for our Valentine's Day look. And I posted two looks and a um, few of my wonderful subscribers went to my blog and voted. It was maybe total only six or seven of you, but hey, you guys count, and I'm so glad you guys gave me your feedback, but you guys chose this look, with this, which is a beautiful, smoky eye that you can wear to a fun dinner out with your Valentine's for Valentine's Day. Something that's very soft but wearable for daytime, and we're gonna be using some Raven Beauty cosmetic um, products. We're gonna be using Divine Wine, which is a beautiful blue um, burgundy wine tone. We'll also be using light pink, which is a very shiny, I won't say shiny, but kind of a, a satiny um, eyeshadow with a little sparkle. And then I'm also gonna be breaking out an existing Raven Beauty color, which is carbon. And carbon is just a matte black, but we're just gonna be using those three shadows for this look. It's gonna be very simple and easy. And um, if you'd like to see swatches of this look, Go into my blog, there will be a link to the specific post where I did the Valentine's Day look in addition to swatches and all that fun stuff. But if you like to create this fun Valentine's Day look, stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, let's get started. Now the very first thing you want to do before you begin this beautiful smoky Valentine's Day look is definitely prime your eyelids. Now the primer I'm gonna be using for this tutorial is one of my favorites which is the Smashbox. And this is the Photo Finish Lid Primer. I love this one because it has a tint of color and it matches my skin tone, but you can put that all over the eyelid. And you can also run it underneath the eye area to prime because we will be dry lining the lash line with these Raven Beauty Cosmetics eyeshadows we're gonna be using for this tutorial. The very first shade we're gonna use is called Divine Wine. And this one is a dark burgundy-ish purple blue based purple that is matte. See how beautiful that color is? Starting with a little bit of the Divine Wine in the lid like so, I am going to be using a flat brush and the brush is from Sigma. This is the flat brush here we're going to be using. See how flat. And this is one of their older brushes I bought previously. You guys know I love my Sigma brushes, but this is the SS 252 brush if you have the older ones. But what we're going to do, we are going to be patting on just a little bit of the color onto the brush just like so. And we're going to take that color and tap it on our lids like so. What we're going to do is keep that concentration of the color on the lid only. We're going to keep the color concentrated on the lid only just using a patting motion. Now once you have that area filled in, like we are doing now, we are going to switch brushes and the brush I will be using to blend out this area is my Sigma and this is my SS224 brush. And this one is a fluffy crease brush we're gonna be using for this eye look. Now we're gonna grab a little bit more of the color out of the lid like so, just by tapping the brush on like so and tap off some of the excess. And we're gonna start blending in the inner corner of the eye first, kind of blending up and creating a triangular shape in this inner corner, see that? We're gonna keep moving and blending that brush in circular motions like so. And then we're gonna start doing my favorite motion, you guys should know it by now, my windshield washer motion in the crease. It's blending that color and we're creating a gradient. So we want it really dark here and we want it to fade upward. And we're going to also move on the outer portion of the corner. 
and move that color up. Just so we have a monochromatic gradation of this beautiful divine wine shade from Raven Beauty Cosmetics. Now once you've had that blending done or in the crease, I'm going to switch to my um, Sigma brush and this is their E and it's the 25 brush and this one is their tapered blending brush. Mind you, I don't have any color on the brush but I'm going to take that brush and continue to blend upward to my brow bone area like so. Just so I end up again with a nice gradient blending of this purple sh or divine wine shadow, just like so. So now you can see it goes from really dark on the lid and then it fades up to the crease, just like so. That's what we want for this look. Now, the next look thing we're going to do is using the same tapered blending brush like so. We're going to take another shade from Raven Beauty and this is called Light Pink. This is a very beautiful um, sheer iridescent pink that has a kind of like a satiny almost glittery color to it and I tapped a little bit into the lid and we're going to just basically tap a very light amount of the color onto the brush tapping off the excess and then we're going to start off at the peak of the brow just by lightly placing the color at the peak of the brow like so and then we're going to start blending that color toward the inner corner of the eye and then we're also going to kind of go in the crease area as well just so it kind of cleans off any soft or harsh edges and again give you that nice gradient smoky eye look. We're going to take a little bit more of that light pink and tap it at the arch of the brow just so we can get a nice little highlight right there. You can see that. It's really pretty. But we don't want to leave it that chunky there so again take that blending brush and blend back and forth just like so. And also don't forget the inner corner of the eye, like so. So see how really pretty that is? Now we're not done yet. With the same light pink shadow from Raven Beauty Cosmetics, I'm going to take my Sigma, and this is the SS219 brush, and this is their pencil brush. It's kind of white and stiff on top. We're going to dip a little bit more of the light pink onto the, the tip of the brush, and I'm really going to place a little amount of it in the inner tear duct area of my eye and then blend it about a quarter of the way in just to blend out any edges on the eyes like so and then I'm just going to grab a little bit more and run it along the lower lash line like so so it gives you a nice little pop of pink in the inner corner it kind of brightens up the inner corner of the eyes like so we are primarily done with the smoky portion of the eye but what I want to do now is really darken up along the um, a parameter of the eye area. So what we're going to do, grab a angled brush. I'm just using Sigma's and this is the two, SS266 brush or angled brush, the old one, just like so. And we're going to take another color from Raven Beauty Cosmetics and this is their carbon, which is a matte black eyeshadow. Now, if I were you, I would tap a little bit into the lid so you don't have any accidents happening with these darker colored sh shadows. But once you get a little bit into the lid, you're going to take a little bit of that color and we're going to actually dry line our upper lash line. I will not be using a liquid liner or a lash liner in this tutorial. But we're going to take that color and just dab it along the roots of where the lashes grow out. You see how I'm just kind of lining the area? And it's okay if you got the little bubble there, we're going to blend it out anyway. But just if it's easier for you to do is pat the line on, then definitely do so. But you only want to stay in the lash line where the lashes grow out, see? Now once you have that color on, we're going to take the same angle brush and kind of smudge and blend it upward toward the Divine Wine Shadow. This is going to create a nice smoky edge to your lash line make it very sexy and alluring for Valentine's Day. <laughs> now once you have that color on the lash line on top, I'm going to go back and grab my crease brush and just place just a little tiny ounce of the color right on top and I'm only going to stay in the outer corner of my eye, like so. See? So now it's just a little bit more smoky and so you don't have to be afraid of that matte black shadow for sure. 
So now that we have the upper lash line dry line, we're going to do the same thing to the lower lash line. But again, we're going to start from light to dark. So we are going to grab that divine wine shadow again and using the angle brush, I'm going to take that liner and just tap a little bit of that um, shadow and I'm just going to line along the lower lash line like so. And I'm going to also bring that color all the way to about three quarters of the way in. And don't forget to also line along the outer corner just so you don't have a gap around that area. Okay, so we have the Divine Wine, but we're going to deepen up just a little bit more by adding on the Carbon Shadow using the same angle brush. Grab a little bit more of that Carbon Shadow. And we're going to go right on top of that Divine Wine just to darken it up along the lash line. So kind of tap it. Just like so. Don't forget the outer corner connect on top. And then you want to bring it about three quarters of the way in. Not getting rid of our beautiful highlight color in the center portion of our eye. Now once you've done that, if you like to put liner on the lower lash line on the inner rim, you can do so. I am going to be using Urban Decay and it's their 24-7 Glide in Zero. And I'm just going to line my waterline. And once you have the waterline complete, you have the eye look done. Now for me, um, I'm not going to just use mascara. I am also going to add my false lashes. And the lashes I'm going to use for this tutorial are going to be my favorite Red Cherries number 43. I love these. These are great for every day. They're not too dramatic. But I got these from MadamMadeline.com. So if you want to find Red Cherry lashes, you can definitely go to MadamMadeline.com. And I'll put a link in the um, information box below. But I'm going to add my lashes and then I'll be right back to show you what I do to finish off this look. So now we're back with the final look. Added on the Red Cherry Lashes. And for mascara, I just decided to break out one of my mascaras from that 7 and 7 kit by Cargo I showed you guys in 2010 at the end of the year. But it's the Lash Activator by Cargo. And I used that on the lower lash line and also on top to blend in the lashes to the false lashes. But that is the look on top. Now let's talk about the final look with the um, cheeks and lips. Okay, for my cheeks, I decided to break out a color I haven't shared with you guys in a while, but if you haven't seen it in my haul video, or it will be coming up, but the color I broke out is by NARS, and the color I believe, if I'm pronouncing this wrong, is um, Delcier. If I'm wrong, my NARS people, please correct me, but this one's by NARS, and it's a beautiful plummy pink tone and it's very soft. I applied a little bit to the cheek area here and to apply it I'm going to apply a little bit more so you guys can see the color in depth. I'm using my Sigma and this is their dual fiber brush and I just took a little bit. This brush is very soft so and it also applies on color very lightly but beautifully but I just applied it to the cheekbone area of my face basically in this area here and then to add a little highlight, again, if you're a viewer of my blog at beautychameleon.com, I did a blog post about the um, Lorac Tantalizer. This is my favorite big bronzer for the body. At least for my skin tone, it works for more of a luminizer. But um, this one, you flip out, and um, I decided to use another Sigma brush, and this is the Sigma Tapered Highlighting Brush. And it looks about like that. But I just took a little swirl of that and added that to my nose. And I'm also going to add it to the upper cheekbone area of my eyes. Basically where the areas the light would naturally hit you. If you're taking pictures or if you're just going out and you just want to have a nice glowy look. I basically applied it just to the W section of my face. And I sometimes will put my highlighter along my cupid's bow and along my um, lower lip. Just to give it a nice, don't need to be any fuller, but that's what I typically do for my um, highlight colors. Now for my lips, I decided to keep it simple. I did not do any lip liner and all that fun stuff. I just decided to break out one of my favorite lip um, sticks from Benefit Cosmetics. This one's part of the Lana line and it's called Ladies Choice. And the color is another pinky brown plum tone. 
which is really gorgeous. And I'm just going to apply that to my lips. But to me, this is just a gorgeous pink tone for my skin tone that just kind of gives me a little color without being too much and kind of distracting away from the smoky eye we created for a beautiful, soft, romantic, smoky eye that you can wear going out to your favorite Valentine's Day dinner, you're going with your significant other or your girlfriends or whoever you're going to spend Valentine's Day with. But um, pretty much that's the entire look for this tutorial. And again, I'd like to thank um, you guys that visit my Facebook page. Um, I do have a Facebook page. If you don't know, you really should go over to my Facebook page and it's basically facebook.com backslash, backslash or forward slash beauty chameleon. And I want you to go to the page, hit thumbs up to like it. And there actually it would be easier to communicate with me because I use that um, fan page and it's also tied into my Twitter, which is also twitter.com um, forward slash beauty chameleon. I'll post the links in the information box below, but those two places are the best places to reach me. Now, if you have tutorial requests or questions on previous tutorials I've done before, I would recommend going to my Facebook page because there you can um, leave your requests there and I can easily track it there because it saves it for me there. Um, also, if you have picture ideas for tutorials, you can post them on my Facebook page so that I can see them and retrieve them when I get a chance to go over there and kind of go through all you guys' requests. And also, feel free to go to my blog. Like um, everything I use in this tutorial, all the products will be listed in the blog. And that'll be at beautychameleon.com. And I'll also be at info information box below in the info box, along with um, all the items I use. There will also be a link to Sigma where you can find the Sigma brushes I use in this tutorial in addition to where you can find these gorgeous eyeshadows from Raven Beauty Cosmetics. But anyway you guys, I am so glad to be back. Thank you all so much for watching, coming back and checking on me and make sure I'm doing okay. But um, until the next video, you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful start to 2011 and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.